Here is another quick maps comparison. I'm Jules Wong with Pocket Now. Strap yourselves in. It's Google Maps versus Here Maps. Google's mapping and listings have historically been stronger in North America, while Here has had much more of a grip in Europe, and the same remains true in 2015. Both Here and Google Maps are on iOS and Android, which we're using to test both apps on today. Here's the only strong Maps client on Windows Phone, by the way. Around Metro Boston, Google Maps definitely has more covered than Here does. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's actually take a look at Here and see where it needs to improve. After all, you, the viewer, demanded this and we wouldn't want to let you down. Let's take a look at design. Google Maps offers a less cluttered, sparsely populated, but more meaningful view than Here does, at least in America. It prioritizes batched roads and points of interest, while Here is still getting used to things. It labels roads, some of them at least, by their long names and gives more weight to parks, neighborhoods, and transit areas. Text alignment, search results, and road tracing are a little more janky on Here as well. Let's focus on transits for the moment and see where Google has the advantage. Again, it has a layout that makes sense. Schedules are grouped by lines of transit rather than by pure chronology. What's more worrying for here is that at my station, it gave next departures only in the southbound direction. In fact, the routes get quite inaccurate with a quick survey of other stops in the downtown area. Misappropriated subway lines or bus lines to stations are pretty rampant. It doesn't get much better at points of interest. There are fewer and less accurate operating hours on here than on Google Maps. There's also not much more information beyond reviews from TripAdvisor to give you. I wanted to believe that at least it could give me good directions, so I tried giving a couple test runs for both devices. And here we finally see a bright spot for here. One of the neat things about getting directions on here is that you can exclude certain modes of transportation. In fact, you could get real picky with the driving parameters. Unfortunately, here Maps doesn't include biking directions, unlike Google, which is actually quite useful for me. The first destination was from my home area to Cambridge City Hall. Now, I live about a five minute walk from the subway station, so I was kind of surprised when here told me to wait for a bus to take me to the station. You see, it comes down to how map clients estimate walking pace. Here estimates walking pace at about 30 minutes a mile, whereas Google places it at 20. That discrepancy really makes a difference when it comes to planning things down to the minute, allowing for transfers and for faults to happen sometimes. But both get me there in short order. At least, there's that. I decide to get trickier and move my destination to a southern suburban mall. The mall is located in a region where a smaller transit agency provides coverage. This time around, both provide some interesting routes, but they are technically possible. I switched the departure time to later in the day. Here Maps makes that process one tap more of a hassle, but at least it can plan routes around custom time. Both apps allow for you to download maps for offline use. In the case of Google, the feature is more obscured and it's limited to approximately a 25 mile diameter. On here, downloading maps is prominently spotlighted as a crucial feature along with using the app in offline mode. If you have the capacity, you can store as many maps of as many states or countries as you would like. I go forth and turn off data connections for each device. Google Maps and Here Maps don't store satellite imaging data, just roads and basic POI plotting. You can also search for landmarks on Here Maps while offline. Google Maps requires the internet to be any smart. Here delivered directions while Google balked at my request. So we know that Here Maps is plenty strong enough to compete with Google if it has good data. It's just that the data backbone Here has collapses in front of Google. And given the shaky ground Nokia is in right now, we suggest that you really should wait. If you're being underserved by Here right now, just consider giving it another chance sometime. Thanks to you for suggesting this piece to us. If you have any other conclusions about Here Maps or Google Maps, let us know in the comments below or on our Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus accounts. Just keep in mind that this is one tester's experience in one area of the earth. Be sure to follow us on Pocket Now as well as our YouTube page. 
The subscription and like buttons are below. My name is Jules Wong on Twitter at GreenPoint Zero. Thanks for being here. More next time. Thank you.